day And we can't be at school We want to gather in large groups But right now that's just not cool has many banners we've got a guitar or two the stage and lights are all set up so now we proudly present to you the orchard elementary group page sing show the orchard We've been waiting for you Wherever you're from We're glad that you've come We've been waiting for you To come to this place Um, if you like farm animals We've been waiting for you If you like alpacas We've we've been been waiting for you Wherever you're from We're glad that you've come We've been waiting for you To come to this place So, uh what else? Uh, well, have I have heard that some people have been celebrating their birthday this week. A big shout out to Mrs. Franklin. And uh, we also wanted to shout out to Harper. Happy birthday, Harper. Harper, yes, we love the, the, the family and all the kids. And, and Madison from the Shining Sunflowers. We wish you a happy birthday this weekend. A little pre, pre-celebration she's having for her birthday that's actually next week. Well, if you had a birthday, we've been waiting for you. And if you had a cardboard cake. Yes. We've been waiting for you. Wherever you're from, we're glad that you come. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. I'm all sorts of mixed up. I'm happy and waiting. I don't know. It's, it's, it's always that. It's a mix of emotions these days. It and we, sure is. Um, Hi, Mohammed. Hi, yeah. Lulu. You're here. We saw your domino project this week. It was amazing. And it reminded me of when our family used to build all kinds of domino chain reaction structures. So right. fun. And we also wanted a big shout out to the Pioneer Panthers. Woo! Welcome. Yeah. We're glad you're joining us this week. It's a special Pioneer Panthers edition. Yeah. I mean, Panthers, they're animals. Yeah. Orchard Eagles, Pioneer Panthers. A lot of mascots are animals. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Some are not. Though. Some are I'm not. Trying to think which ones. Anyway. If you know a few that aren't animals, post those in the comments. We we, we want to help jog our memories. Yes. Um, if you are from Orchard, we've, we've been, been waiting, waiting for you. you. And if you're from Pioneer, we've, we've been, been waiting for you. Wherever you're from, we're glad that you've come. We've been waiting for. 
for you to come to this place. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. Waiting for you to come to this place. Wherever you're from, we're glad that you've come. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. Oh, it feels good that it's Friday. I've been I've been excited. Yeah, it's to get here. It's always one of those things that I think I'm ready, and then you know <laughs> the morning of I'm like, oh my gosh, we're not really ready. And it, I, I think deadlines I think we just are have important. too many ideas. And deadlines are important. We, yes, definitely. because we just keep coming up with more ideas. And speaking yeah. of of deadlines, yes. there is a cup. There are a couple of things we wanted to mention uh, right at the start of the show, and that is today is the very last day to order your limited edition Orchard Elementary Group Page Sing Show shirt. It's going to be uh, going on, the, the sale's going on until 8.59. That's 11.59 East Coast time, but 8.59 Pacific Daylight time, our time here. And so uh, if you want to order a shirt and support the Sing Show and support the people who have been on the Sing Show, then uh, please do so. And if not, uh, we appreciate just your comments and support too. And uh, hey, McKenna and Scarlett, thanks for being on. You're big supporters of the show and your creativity uh, and we sharing. We loved your dog kingdom. Oh my gosh. It's awesome. I want to go to the dog kingdom. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm, my dog wants to go there. Not even a dog, but I would like to go. <laughs> um, so anyway, we'll post the link on the page, uh, the Orchard Elementary Group page, and we'll make sure uh, to post that link one more time at the top of the feed. If you want to buy a Sing shirt, it's your last chance, and those will be printed, and then uh, those people who did order, you should be getting your shirts sometime in early June, around June 10th, they up, up, are kind of And estimated. we did have a question about the design. What is that on top of the TV? Well, that's the Lego B, and uh, you know, he's famous in the Rattlin Bog song. He's not there today. Well, he's buzzing now. He's pollinating oh, all those yeah. flowers. Have you seen all the flowers blooming? You They're know, amazing. and that reminds me of uh, a song. Yeah, this is a, a song uh, about a barnyard. We're going to invite Ellie on for this song. She's Hi got Ellie. her horse shirt on today, and you have the octopus shirt, yes. and I have the... Black shirt. I have a black shirt. Well, you know, sometimes it's night. It's a panther in a cave at night. <laughs> yeah. Having Your barbecue. It's kind of like a picnic, so yeah, it's like a picnic yeah. blanket, maybe, at the barnyard. Oh, oh. oh. For this song, some animals. Oh yeah, we need some help. Some Yeah, so if you have some animals that you might find on the barnyard, we have a few to get started, but please uh, share those animals you have. So here's this song called Barnyard. Oh, oh I, I went, went down, down to the barnyard just to see the animals there and there were chickens in the barnyard. They were standing everywhere and the chickens went And that was all they had to say, and the chickens went. And that was all they had to say. I didn't know I was going to do that. Oh, I went down to the barnyard just to see the animals there, and there were horses? Sure. <laughs> In the horses in the barnyard, they were standing everywhere, and the horses went. <laughs> and that was all they had to say, and the horses went. <laughs> and that was all they had to say. Hey, Cherie, thanks for joining us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, it's my first time reading. Well, wait, so Cherie, if you are out there, hey, welcome to the Sing Show today. But if you're not out there, let's sing about some sheep. Oh, I went down to the barn just to see the animals there. And there were sheep in the barn. They were standing everywhere. And the sheep went, nah, Cherie, bah. And that was all. They had to say, and the sheep went by. <laughs> and that was oh, all goodness. they had to say. Oh man, I 
do miss all of my students out oh, there. Oh, yeah. miss that's you guys so much. That's why I saw that and I thought, it's a shout out. I thought that was our <laughs> shout out board. And so, oh, man. Well, Sheree, well, if you are out there, uh, we miss, miss you, you and we hope you are uh, staying safe and enjoying. And having a good laugh. Yeah, I was like, like man, sure. Mr. Ray's just learning to read. <laughs> Phonics are for everyone. We're always learning. Oh, God, I God. went down into the barnyard just to see the animals there, and there were wild dogs <laughs> in the barn. They were standing everywhere, and the wild dog went. <laughs> and that was all we had to say, and the wild dogs went. <laughs> that was all they had to say. Well, see, that was that wasn't too bad because I I don't think I could have mistaken wild dogs for a student. Wendell, Wendell Dobson. Right? Oh, could be. Maybe next year. I got one, I got one. Oh, okay, well, I went down into the, the barnyard just to see the animals there. And there were butterflies in the barnyard. And they were flying everywhere. And the butterflies went. And that was all they had to say. And the butterflies went. And that was some that moved their wings this way. This was, I did see that bizarre. one. It's so hard. I've never seen that before. They had to say, Oh, I went down. Here's one from some to the barnyard just to see the animals there. And there were snakes in the barnyard. And they were slithering everywhere. And the snakes went. And that was all they had to say. And the snakes went. Something funny, Potter. Oh wait, that's <laughs> Snape, not Snape. What? <laughs> both are both are a little bit scary. And that was all they had to say. Oh, I went down into the barnyard just to see the animals there, and there were bees in the barnyard, and they were buzzing everywhere, and the bees. And that was all they had to say, and the bees went. D B is a busy bee. Cause that was all they had to say. All right, I think we have one more. Yeah, we have one. Oh, we have, and it's a double. This is a doubler. Oh, I went down to the barnyard just to see the animals there, and there were goats and lions. Goats and lions. Yeah. That's a bad guy. And combo. owls. And Goats owls. and lions oh, and, and owls. Oh my! <laughs> to the barn. They were standing everywhere and the goats and owls and lions went. <laughs> Who? Only one type of owl actually does too. What is a goat say? I said my mind is goats? blank. Goats what kind of like bleat. Like? I don't know. <laughs> me, me, me. I don't know. And that was all they had to say. The goats and lions and owls went. Bleh. Ah. Me. Oh. And that was all they had to say. Oh, you never wow. disappoint, Orchard. I love yeah. all these ideas. Oh my goodness. Goats so and lions and owls. Whoa. Oh my. Oh my. Wow. Well, speaking of barnyards, we have a special guest. But before that, have you been wondering, you know, last week we were so busy enjoying our cardboard challenge. Thank you for tuning into that. Thank you for sending in your cardboard creations, your projects. Mrs. Larson is putting together a big slideshow. I cannot even wait to see all the finished products. Uh, I've had sneak previews along the way and it's just so fun and inspiring. But we were so busy last week, we didn't check in on our lettuce. I did some thinning though, and since that time, the lettuce leaves, I mean, they're just exploding right out the top of the pot here. And I'm thinking today is the perfect day. We're gonna have tacos tonight. I've seen a lot of kids posting their recipes and sharing all kinds of delicious food. So I'm thinking 
some of these lettuce leaves are going to go into our tacos. I'll let you know how they taste. And I'm also feeling like I might transplant these from their pot into our garden because I'm worried as the temperatures heat up, if I don't water often enough, we might lose these lettuces. So I'm gonna try to put them in a shady spot because as, again, as the temperatures heat up here in our climate where we live, um, lettuce can have a harder time growing in the hottest of days. So I like to give it a little bit of part shade. And speaking of growing healthy things and having um, your garden going, this special guest is a member of our orchard family, once a member of our orchard family, always a member of our orchard family. And for years, she has come to visit us with her animals from her farm. And today we want to welcome our very special guest, KJ Rhodes, as she takes us on a special tour of the Rhodes Ranch. Please help me welcome KJ. Hi everyone, welcome to the Rhodes Ranch. I'm Mrs. Rhodes. I used to be a teacher at Orchard a long time ago. My two kids still go to Orchard, Kate in eighth grade and Trevor in third grade. We're so excited today to share the Rhodes Ranch with you. Right now I'm standing in our garden. There's a lot of great things going on in our garden right now. We are trying to grow as much as we can from the earth so we can stay healthy. I wanna show you over here in this garden bed right here. We have lots of herbs growing. We have lettuce growing right here. If you're wondering how, what does lettuce look like before it gets to the grocery store? Right here, I wanna show you what a beet looks like. You can see the beet greens, the tops of the beets, which you can eat by the way. And then this big beet grows underneath the ground. And that's then what we eat. And the more color something has in it, in the garden, the better it is for you. So I wanna encourage you to try and get as many fresh fruits and vegetables as you can. That'll help you stay nice and strong. Here we have some bell peppers starting to grow. You can see right here the plant cycle actually starting. Here's a flower right here. That flower will soon become a pepper like that. That's exciting. Over here we have tomatoes. And along here we have a whole bunch of blueberries. Blueberries are great for fighting all kinds of germs. They have a lot of antioxidants, which keep, keep you healthy. Right here's our pile of garlic. So many people like to cook with garlic. And this grows again under the ground. And then this is what you would see above the ground. In our garden, we also have a chicken coop. And our turkey and our Delaware chicken are in this coop. Our turkey is called a blue slate turkey. You can look that up and find out more about those kind of animals. Our Delaware is a normal sized chicken, pretty traditional foundational bird. And then over here we have a coop with all of our small chickens. And we love the eggs out of our chicken coop. Super nice and clean. This is a Banty chicken and this is one of Trevor's favorite chickens. What's nice about our chickens is that you can hold them, you can hang out with them. They bring us a lot of joy just by being around. So something new on the Rhodes Ranch during this quarantine time is that we have picked up two alpacas. These alpacas are called mocha and latte. These um, alpacas are related to camels and llamas. They are in the camelid family. And back in South America, in the Andes Mountains, people would use these animals for their fiber. That's the hair that grows on them. It's extremely, extremely soft. This is Mocha, our two-year-old alpaca. And this is Latte. She's 10 years old. Now, what's funny is a lot of people will ask me, do these animals spit? They do spit. In fact, Latte is very known for spitting. See her ears going back like that doesn't mean she's gonna spit that just means she's giving mocha a little warning that she may because she's bugging her but alpacas eat the same thing that our horses do they eat hay just regular grass hay what's funny about these kind of animals is that they go to the bathroom all in one spot so they are naturally potty trained they go to the bathroom right there it's super easy to clean up for the farmers and we appreciate that. Before we leave our alpacas, we wanted to see if they would do some humming for you. You can hear that sound. 
latte right here is doing what's called a kush. That's when they lay down like that. Mocha's a talker. She's Here at the Rhodes Ranch, we also have horses. This happens to be my paint horse, Picasso. And Picasso is used for riding. I love to ride Picasso. I ride him without a bit and usually without a saddle. So that's kind of the thing that Picasso and I do. It's called a paint horse because of all the different color that he has here on his body. You can see the, he, the big black and white splotches that he has. His, mu his mom was a Mustang and his dad was a big paint that looked like him. Trevor's here gonna check his feet. Every day we try and check our horse's feet to make sure there's no rocks in their feet. That's really important to make sure. This is JJ, our Shetland pony. Now ponies throughout history have been very important to humans. Ponies like this were used to pull carts, to have people move, you know, use them before cars started. And they were used in mines to pull out the coal in the coal mines. They're extremely, extremely strong. JJ here pulls a little cart and he's about 25 years old. Picasso is nine and they live to be almost 30. Here's our African Cicada tortoise. His name is Spike and Spike is about 20 years old. He lives to be about 80, so he lives a long time. Here you can see he's eating some grass hay. All of the animals, the farm animals, both the horses and our alpacas, here's JJ our pony, eats grass hay. Very little alfalfa hay, because alfalfa is like a special treat for them. It's like eating ice cream or steak. Spike does not go in water. A lot of kids ask me if Spike goes in the water. He does not, because you can see his shell sits up high on his body. It is not flat like a water turtle's shell. And his feet right here are made for walking in the desert. You can see he has spikes that move through the dirt much better than they would in the water. Water turtles have webbed feet. Spike does not have webbed feet. He has spikes on his arms and his body so that he can move through dirt really well. Lastly in our barn, we have Mama Kitty. She is really important. She is our farm cat and she makes sure that the mice and everything are under control. You don't want mice around your animal's food. And right here you can see the animals eating at the, in the uh, next to the barn. And that's where all of our food is stored. Mice can make your animals sick. And so a cat is really important to keep everything under control in your barn area. We hope you've enjoyed your tour of the Rhodes Ranch. We really liked showing you all of our animals in our garden today. And thank you so much for having us on Friday Sing. Okay. Wow, that was really cool. I always love seeing all of KJ's animals. Yeah, I'd love to go gardens, um, beautiful. see those alpacas someday. Those are the ones yeah, I haven't seen. So cool. So we have a song for KJ. Uh, we just saw a lot of animals that she shared with us from her ranch, and we're gonna sing about them now, since it is Animal Week. You might recognize the tune, it's an old favorite. Down on the ranch, where the beets and peppers grow, back to her home, I dare not go. For if I do, I might hear her say, did you ever see a turkey practicing a burpee on the ranch with KJ down on the ranch where the beets and peppers grow? Back to her home, I dare not go. For if I do, I might hear her say, Did you ever see a chicken doing long division on the ranch with KJ down on the ranch? As an analyst for NASA on the ranch with KJ down on the ranch where the beets and peppers grow back to her home. I dare not go, for if I do, I might 
might hear her say. Did you ever see a paint riding unconstrained, Ted? Un what? Without restraint. Not unconstrained? No. Uh, riding unconstrained? Yeah, I like yours better. On the ranch with KJ, down on the ranch, where the beets and peppers grow, back to her home. I dare not go, for if I do, I might hear her say, Did you ever see a pony eating macaroni on the ranch with KJ? Tortoise swimming with the porpoise. Yeah. Um, tortoise they're, they're, swimming in the porpoise. No. no. They're, they're, they're land animals. All right. Yeah, I guess with that big shell. I mean, you try swimming with that shell suit. On the ranch with KJ down on the ranch. Where the beets and peppers grow. Back to her home. I dare not go. Did you ever see the cat messing with the thermostat? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't mess with the thermostat. I'm not a we cat. We set it and forget. Right. On the ranch with KJ down on the ranch where the beets and peppers grow. Back to her home. I dare not go. For if I do, I hear her say. And you had to force the rhyme because <laughs> you didn't have a r much that rhymed with alpaca. Or ranch. Or ranch. On the ranch with KJ. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> we did it! I love it. I love it. So, a couple quick announcements. Uh, this week, <laughs> I had, or today on the show, I, I heard a question about the slideshow. Cardboard Arcade slideshow is coming soon. I don't have the exact time, but keep a look out on our Facebook page. We'll make sure to share that with you so you know where to find the, the link and to enjoy all those special projects. We also want to encourage you, if... Um, you have friends that don't see the live stream or don't have Facebook. Remember, all of the episodes are uploaded to our YouTube channel, The Rays. And if you want to check out any of our special guest videos, there are playlists to all of the guest videos and some extended videos that um, guests have shared with us. And links to websites are always in the description if you want to learn more about any of our special guests. So we hope that you'll visit us there on the channel. We've got... Another old favorite, we haven't sung this at Sing in a really long time, but we hope you'll recognize it and sing along. You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line and I'll get a pole, babe. You get a line and I'll get a pole and we'll go fishing at the crawdad hole, honey, baby mine. Wake up, Sue, you slept too late, honey. Hey, wake up, Sue, you slept too late, babe. Wake up, Sue, you slept too late and the crawdad man done past your gate, honey. Yonder come a man with a sack on his back, honey. Yonder come a man with a sack on his back, babe. Yonder come a man with a sack on his back, and he's got all the crawdads he can pack. Oh, honey, baby mine. That man fell down and he bust his sack, honey. The man fell down and he bust his sack, babe. Man fell down and he bust his sack. Now look at them crawdads back and back. Oh, honey, baby mine. Huh. Look at that crawdad crawling round, honey. Hey, look at that crawdad crawling round, babe. Look at that crawdad crawling round. Why, he's the mayor of crawdad.
Well, yonder come the men with this crawdad sitting on the river bank, honey. Crawdad sitting on the river bank, babe. Crawdad sitting on the river bank, he's picking his teeth with a two by four plank, honey, babe. Across my field, he's kicking up dust like an automobile. Honey, baby, mine. The duck she say to the drake, honey. That duck she say to the drake, babe. Duck she say to the drake, there ain't no fraud ads in this lake. I'll sell these crawdads three for a dime, babe. Sell these crawdads three for a dime, and your crawdads ain't as good as mine, honey, babe. Well, what you gonna do when the lake goes dry, honey? What are you gonna do when the lake grows dry, babe? What are you gonna do when the lake grows dry? You'll sit on the bank and watch the crawdads cry. Honey, baby, mine. You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. Yeah, you get a line and I'll get a pole, babe. Oh, you get a line and I'll get a pole and we'll go dancing at the crowd at home. Honey, baby, mine. Honey, baby. I see, I see. You take my perfectly wonderful folk song and turn it into a joke. Wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> wow! Uh, so fun! So fun. Uh, we had a lot of fun this week uh, building props and just kind of making a, a lot of fun uh, music together. Uh, we want to thank KJ at Rhodes Ranch for being a part of our show this week and sharing her farm animals and her garden. Uh, we want to thank all of our participants out there on Facebook, uh, typing in your animals. Uh, you know, especially want to thank um, Cherie out there for joining us. <laughs> Maybe. Um, and I also uh, just want to just say thanks again to uh, Jack Grunsky, who's going to be a guest next week next on our week, show, yeah. Uh, yeah. along with uh, a couple other people, too, yeah. So um, for sharing this song with us. So we're going to end. It was a new one last week. Yeah. So you, you might be ready to sing along. Sure. I'll try it. Look at what I made at home today. A tiger mask made out of paper mache With paints and papers, scissors and glue I made it specially for you With my own two hands I made it with my own two hands With my own two hands I made it with my own two hands On Ojo de Dios is a pretty God's eye woven out of sticks and strings. It's my own design, a pleasure to do. I made it just for you with my own two hands. I made it with my own two hands, with my own two hands. I made it with my own two hands. Beads and bobbles on a fancy chain. Lace them, loop them, tie them up again. It's gold and silver, purple and blue. I made it specially for you with my own two hands. I made it with my own two hands, with my own two hands. I made it with my own two hands. I made some rhythm makers, yes.
yesterday. Homemade instruments that we can play. Shakers, scrapers, these are a few that I made for me and you with my own two hands. Thanks again for joining us on the Orchard Elementary Group Sing Show. Happy Friday. We'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.